every, uh, every beef has to have a tag on it. it says what day it was killed and uh, it'll have a USDA stamp on it. The Tascala Meats owner, Kirk Hall, says he's worked hard to comply with USDA regulations. One of those allows him to shoot an animal one time to slaughter it for meat. We still use a, uh, a rifle, it's very accurate, it's got a, a red, red dot scope on it. Hall tells us a couple pigs will be butchered Friday for meat with USDA officials present. Animal rights group PETA is calling on the Pataskala police chief to launch a criminal investigation after a pig was shot above the eye and a cow was shot in the head five times. I mean, they call it egregious and inhumane, and I'm not doing it on purpose. I mean, I don't get pleasure. I don't, it doesn't give me any pleasure to stand there and, and try to kill an animal for food. USDA documents say the establishment failed in March to effectively implement humane methods of slaughtering. You're killing an animal. It's not humane. It's, it's necessary for food. Nobody from PETA was available for an on-camera interview. While PETA's motto in part reads, animals are not ours to eat, customers at Pataskala Meats tell us they support their local business. Unfortunately, that's the reality of life. Um, and, and that's the choice people have. And, and thank God we live in a country that we have the choice to do what we want as far as what we eat. We're gonna put a head gate in here and now the head gate's gonna clamp on the on the beef's head. Hall says he'll make some modifications to his so-called knockbox. Hall tells us food safety is a priority for his business, and he thinks some of the issue at hand is a difference in philosophy. If you want fresh food, you have to kill it. I mean, it's what we, it's what we do here to give people the freshest possible food.